I'm sorry for you choosing a really shit superpower, but I always thought there was a lot more to burn than this watch. <laughs> Um, my first poem is called Forgotten England. Um, it's about coming to Oxford um, with a mildly northern accent and the adventures that led to. <laughs> Her voice as clipped as a home county lawn and almost as chemically treated. She told me my accent sounded like a forgotten England, which alarmed me. I've never felt like a northerner before. <laughs> I didn't realise I was trying to impress until one day I dropped a vowel and she began to purr. She said my wit was acerbic, like Devonshire cider, and I lied. Oxford is the furthest south I've been. <laughs> she studied classics at Magdalen. I pronounced the G just to see her smile. She told me her favourite Roman was Lucretia on the grounds of her virtue, so I told her mine was Del Piero for the same reason. <laughs> when spring came, she started to talk about Icarus, and I almost flew too close to the sun when I cut Hessian wings out of old coal sacks and wore them in front of her friends. <laughs> That was our secret, she hissed at me later, as she pressed pause on the railway children, so I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> Fearing losing her, I cried. This bit always reminds me of Yorkshire. <laughs> the end did come one summer's evening, when, tipsy on wine, she borrowed her father's Land Rover and followed the signs to the north. By Sheffield, she phoned to call me a liar. Now I understand why we'd all forgotten. I read this poem this week. Um, don't have a name. It's about. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but like. It's when you're trying your best to be an existential poet in Oxford and everything around you looks like an extended metaphor and it's really fucking annoying. <laughs> I've seen the languished Lotharios quoting Keats over vodka mixers. Their lists of listless lovers lie entwined in the shrines of this city's tired exposition. I've paced the pervious perimeters and set fire to the stars using a stolen match from a salubrious saint preaching in the queue for a college bar. I've rubbed shoulders with raffish raconteurs eulogising to drum machines. Their slurs sacrosanct to the servile girls with dilated eyes and unsteady feet. I've fought for space amongst avant-garde poets looking for muses in chain coffee bars. Heresy on screens amidst antiquity seems the vanguard was somewhere round here. I felt lost in a discussion on implied value by a kebab van on a non-conformist street. Shared a roll-up with a lost new romantic in the glare of a gothic retreat. I've stood in queues for faceless nightclubs where iconoclasts once burnt in autumn rain, now the lovers blow smoke in fenced-off areas and the spires doze on all the same. <laughs> <laughs>